Good morning, everybody. As you can probably tell, we're going to Ibiza. I have dog hair on my face. I knew picking her up was a bad idea. With I put the hourglass lipstick on and it is glossy and gorgeous, but not dog friendly, not dog Pomeranian hair friendly. I'm going to Ibiza, T minus six days, seven days, seven days. This time next week, I will be in Ibiza. I honestly, I cannot tell you. We booked, we booked this holiday so long ago. I am like outrageously excited for this trip. So this entire week is dedicated <laughs> to going to Ibiza and doing all of my beauty prep, that everything is happening, the whole kit and caboodle. I've never said that phrase in my whole life. This, the energy in this vlog is going to be very different to the energy in previous vlogs because I actually, I kid you not, all I've been dreaming about for a solid month now is this vacation. I cannot wait. I can't, I, I can't wait. This was actually meant to be a, like our one holiday of the year and then with the south of France which was more of a last minute little vacay for us and Ryan's work trips. We've actually been away a little bit but we actually didn't foresee ourselves going away this much so this is like the vacation for the year. The year's not even out after this like we still have we still have more trips, but this is my vacation. This is the Susie Olympics, if you will. If you watch Audrey Peters on TikTok, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, in, in excitement, I have just actually air wrapped my hair. Partly excited for this vlog and wanted to look like cute because just I'm in the mood. But also, I was just very excited because it's dipped below 25 degrees today so I can actually do my hair without sweating she says after all the heat pumping out of this I am now like a little bit roasty toasty again but we move it was actually very nice to do something to my hair I'm so sick of seeing it straight because that's all I can manage to do that isn't like me just being an egghead over the past couple of weeks so so happy to be like wearing outfits and not feeling gross and sticky she says i'm going to be in that exact position next week but it's fine because aircon is a thing in ibiza yeah i'm i'm excited for my bouncy little blow dry feels nice it feels very nice i actually got this is a new attachment that i got for my dyson i've never had this length before i always had the shorter one and my hair very quickly outgrew the need for the shorter barrel does it match my the rest of my air wrap no do i care absolutely not because i'm just so happy that this could like i can actually do my hair and do a bouncy blowout with this and it's nice for when i don't want my hair to be curly but i also just don't want it being dead straight this is just perfect so first port of call today in terms of the packing i actually need to go to the other house and just get all of my holiday stuff i didn't bring it here originally because i didn't actually know what i was going to want to wear i've now finalized my holiday mood boards which sounds really extra but i actually have found since i worked with my friend carla who's a personal stylist i found mood boarding really uh what's the word efficient helpful if you will whatever word you choose i found it really useful i'll put a little sneak peek here but i'm not going to show you all of the outfits because i don't want to spoil it because they're sleighs they are all sleighs and um i am just so excited to wear everything i feel like i just got a whole load of excitement out at you i've been so excited for this holiday for such a long time so do excuse me so yeah first port of call today is go and get everything i need from the house and that is literally everything including like hemming tape because i need to rehem some of my trousers that i'm going to take with me like all of the little tiny weeny things like limit rollers hemming tape the actual clothes make sure i've got all my shoes my heel i didn't bring any heels here so i need to get that also going to get my outfit options for wednesday as well so I've got a whole little task there so we're going to have a little errand running morning i was going to tan today but the temperature is just still a little bit too high and i want to make sure this tan is good i'm double tanning in advance of this trip so that we have like layers of tan because i don't really sunbathe so i want it to last like the entire week that we're we are away so i'm going to double tan in advance but i don't really want the heat to interfere with that so maybe going to do that tomorrow and in addition to tan we need to do the whole beauty shebang so that will also be happening so i think we should just get on with it but i do have the most important thing so we are all good i managed to find it <laughs> It did not get lost in the move. But anyway, enough chat and waffle and overexcited squeaking. I need to finish getting 
ready. I've just popped in these earrings from Monica Vinader. I actually have the matching ring as well. They sent me so much stuff, which I have actually already opened because I am basically like a, I turn feral when Monica Vinader sent me things. So actually I'll probably just show you everything now because there's a few bits that are left in this adorable little bag. And this section of the vlog is going to be a paid for integrated partnership with Monica Vinader, who I have been partnering with for so long and you guys will know if you've watched more than one video, I am obsessed with their jewelry. It is just, it's been my favorite for so many years now. I always feel so lucky that I get to work with them because they're literally my favorite jewelry brand. So yeah, today I am wearing these gorgeous twisted drop earrings. They are just stunning. I really like this kind of jewelry with this outfit as well. I'm wearing a little reformation set today, which I'll show you in full in a second when I'm fully dressed. And I love the matching ring as well. It just feels really like, because they kind of look a little bit like they could be leaves to me. So then they feel very autumnal. I feel like this just goes beautifully with my nails at the moment as well. So love those. Some of you will have also seen the new bracelet, which I will show you in a second that I got from them as well, because I was wearing that in the last vlog. Like I said, I turn feral and I can't not open the bag when they sent me things. But yeah, I'll show you what else they sent me now. My heart is literally screaming just looking at this. So this is a new necklace that they've sent me. It's this gorgeous blue stone. I am just obsessed with it. I can't wait to wear this on my holiday. I just think it's gonna be so, so gorgeous. And you guys will know if you've seen more recent vlogs of mine, I have a version of this that's like a pearl and it's just stunning and it has like a matte gold. So this is like a really gorgeous alternative to that. And because the gold isn't matte, I can put a lot more of my Monica Veneta charms on it. So I love, 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 love that. Many loves there. And then I also have the matching earrings. I'm just obsessed with them. They're so beautiful. Like look at that, the texture is just something else. I can't wait to try these on. They're gonna make such a nice set. Like I said, I have the bracelet as well, so I'm obsessed. And then this literally, pun not intended, makes my heart skip a beat. They launched this earlier in the year. I think it was like February time. I am obsessed. I love this so much. I cannot wait to wear it. It's just beyond beautiful. It's actually a locket so you can open it up and put a photo in it. And I'm just, I think it will look so gorgeous layered up with other necklaces that I have. And then look at this, this is an earring. It threads, like this is, imagine like a needle and thread. It threads through the hole in your ear and then this bit dangles. So say your ear is here, you're facing this way. Like it, this dangles down the front of your ear and this dangles down the back of your ear. And I, I just think this is so stunning and statement, but just really beautiful and simple at the same time and such a classic. And I think it will look so lovely either with other earrings or just completely on its own and I'll take all of my earrings out. And the best news is I actually have a code with Monica Vinader as well. I will put it on the screen. So if you like any of these pieces and you want to pick them up now is the best, best time to do that. I'm just gonna put my bracelets on. So this is the bracelet, which I think you will have seen if you watched the last vlog. I'm obsessed. So my usual bracelet stack from Monica Vinader involves these two bracelets, please excuse me. <laughs> Just picked up Nala's dog hair as well. I already wear these two bracelets basically every day. I love them so much They're so perfect for summertime, especially this one's a really nice all-year-round one though because it's really simple very versatile I think even though it's beaded and they do this in a necklace as well Which I also think is so beautiful and it comes in so many different colors. So they have like a great the green the green does things to me like I try not to wear too much I get I get really excited by color and then I always look back and I'm like Oh, I wish I'd just got that in neutral, blah, blah, blah. So I always try and stick with my neutrals because I just think they suit me a lot more, but they do do it in a gorgeous, gorgeous green. And then I think a pink and a blue. And then we have my classic pearl one, which is so hard to put on one-handed and look elegant. So I probably just looked absolutely insane trying to squish into myself and put that on. I love this so, so much. I have it in the necklace form as well. Please excuse me. If you see me just kind of like looking at my upper lip in the viewfinder, it's because I have to monitor the sweat stash. So I wear these two all the time. I love them so much. And then we have a new addition, which I just, I take back what I just said, because to me, I, I've said this for years, so this won't be new to some of you that have been watching for a long time, but blue to me is a neutral. Blue on me, I always think like a light blue looks like a neutral. 
I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I think that but I do and I just love it and I never regret a blue I guess I wear a lot of denim in my wardrobe so to me blue doesn't count as like wearing color so I think this is just the perfect addition to have uh, on my arm stack you guys always ask me about my arm stack as well so I hope this is helpful to some of you also this is a separate charm also from monica vinida this i normally wear on a chunky gold chain because i once saw hayley bieber wearing it on a chunky gold chain and i was like yep gonna need that for me but i actually i love it on this bracelet because it's moonstone it's got that almost like pearly cool tonedness to it that i think just works beautifully with the blue and the golds match because this blue bracelet has like a shinier gold whereas this is more of a matte gold so i just think they match so perfectly i love them i'm so tempted to wear this today as well but i don't know if it will be a bit too much with my mm, i don't know if it's, it's going to be a little bit long for my neckline i think this will look so beautiful actually with wednesday's outfit so i'll show you everything and what it looks like on over the course of the week this might not be one for today i don't want to overdo it yeah the neckline's not i can adjust it a bit but i think we'll wear this on wednesday but yeah if you want to pick anything up please feel free to use my code. I will also be using my code. <laughs> I love it when they give me a code, whether it's for you or you've got some gifts that you need to buy. If you're one of, if you're one of those like, early Christmas people, knock your socks off. I am not the same breed of human as you. I wish I was. But if you want to use it for that, use it for that. If you want to treat yourself, please feel free to go ahead and use it. Oh, I just love these so much. These are making me so happy today. So yeah, I'm going to leave my neckline bare, I think. She's there. I do have like a plain Monica Veneta chain that could look cute, but I don't want to overdo it. I think these earrings are so beautiful and I want to like let them vibe all on their own. And I just, this ring is just stunning. So autumnal. Oh my God, she's she's back on her autumnal bandwagon. And do you know what? I, also sorry, because all I've done is talk at you. <laughs> and I've just realized how long I've been talking for. I love autumn so much but i will spend the entire year telling you how much i am a summer girl and i love summer but there is something about early autumn energy maybe it's virgo season i don't know what it is you virgos maybe you have some weird hold on me i don't know it get we roll into september and i feel fresh i feel fresh no do you know what it is it's mid-september maybe it's libra season coming i don't know what it is i don't know what it is maybe it's the drop in temperature and it makes me feel a little bit more crispy ready for fall i don't know i don't know what it is but there's something around this time of year maybe it's because my brain knows my birthday is creeping in but i feel renewed i feel like a new woman i feel excited i spend most of summer being like ew autumn don't, don't like these colors love like my neutrals love like my pale colors and my beiges and my linens and i i die for summer like summer weather blue skies nothing makes me happier but i have sloth energy in summer this time of year she's a new woman she is a new woman i don't know don't know what it is as you can tell new woman anyway where did that moany human from like two vlogs ago go you know what it could be though it could be also because i know that i am seeing miss amelia liana this week the vibes be vibing you know that girl has got enough energy to power edf and all the other energy companies combined i don't know don't know if i do EDF even still operate? I don't know. Anyway, a little bit of Armani Sea Eau de Perfume Intense. This bottle, she is stunning. Obsessed. It's so like black currant tea and soft and lovely. This is, like perfect scent for like this summer to autumn transition. Anyway, I need to be quiet and show you my outfit. So today I'm wearing this Reformation set. I think I mentioned earlier, I bought this this time last year. So this gives me real like summer to autumn transitional energy. I love it so much. It is the perfect little set for when it is hot, but I actually want to feel like I'm wearing an autumnal outfit. Like if I could get away with a pair of boots with this right now, I would be wearing a pair of boots. There's something about it. I just think it's the perfect like in-between outfit. It works really beautifully if I want to put a black knit over the top or a longer cardigan. Just a big fan of it love it so much it's very much the kind of like summer to autumn version of the set that i have from them that's like the black and white linen set love that would honestly have worn that today most likely love that so much miss wearing it i'm saving it 
for next week so I would have loved to have worn it this week especially like today it's still kind of like a little bit warm probably would have been my last chance to wear it in the UK but I can't risk getting it dirty before my holiday so we have put aside a lot of holiday appropriate clothes which I'll show you in a bit but yeah this is my other reformation set which i just love it's actually a black denim which is one of the reasons why i think it lends itself so well to this lovely like summer to autumn time of year I, I just love it so much i also love the fact that even though they sell it as like one so you get the top and the skirt and you can't like buy them separately i love the fact that i can style them with other things in my wardrobe so the skirt works beautifully with like a black cashmere knit but the top also works really nicely with like a pair of black jeans in the same tone that are like a wide leg i absolutely love that it feels like a little bit 70s and i just i think it's really cute so yeah absolutely loving this i've just thrown on my ysl tribute sandals because i think the tone of them lends itself really nicely to being like an autumnal tone as well as a summer tone it basically matches my nails which i find so satisfying would i love to be wearing a pair of boots with this yes absolutely will that be possible not quite yet we're not quite at that point yet we have had a new autumn winter boot delivery <laughs> so getting very distracted from the packing and errand running that i am meant to be doing because we need to open this. Okay. I cannot wait for the temperature to drop. Oh, I really hope these look good. I realized watching the last vlog that the boots that Anina Bing sent me, they're just too big around my ankles and it doesn't look good. And that is a time old tale that I struggle with in general is like them not being tight enough around my ankles and my ankles are quite small. So then it just makes my whole legs my ankles are like very very slim but the rest of my legs they're not the same so then it just makes my legs look quite i don't know what the word is just like non-streamlined the moment of truth okay they're not tight around the ankle but maybe the fact that there's a heel is going to make up for this basically i was dying for a cute like round toed pair of boots like i wanted that kind of american pinterest full outfit kind of vibe do you know what i mean oh my god these are actually really nice around my calves these these are a tight fit if you struggle with getting boots to fit your calves these are not the ones because i have small calves so i have the opposite problem but i know some of my friends have the opposite oh no actually <gasps> Guys, these, these are the boots for everyone. They've got a whole stretchy bit. Oh my God, this is amazing. If you struggle getting boots to fit your calves, these might still be okay in either direction because I have slim calves, but these have a stretchy bit. So if your calf is wider, it's still gonna fit. That is unreal. Stunning. Okay. Okay, lighting is crazy in here. Oh my God, I love them. <gasps> oh my gosh. These are literally the cutest boots i have ever seen maybe not with this outfit actually i don't know i feel like i need something with sleeves on top i think there's too much skin on show but oh my gosh this is so cute love them so much i don't i can't remember what brand they are but i just picked them up off john lewis i will link them if you guys want them oh my god okay so we've put a jumper on oh my god i am obsessed <laughs> with these boots yes this is this is the autumnal vibe I'm gonna be going with. I could not recommend these more. They actually feel incredibly comfy as well. Like the round toe, why did we ever go to a pointed toe? It's just not as comfortable <laughs> as a round toe. I just love them. I love how 70s this outfit feels as well. Like it's giving neutral Daphne from Scooby-Doo vibes. I love it so much. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, you guys, we've got the suitcase. It was an ordeal to get it but we got there in the end. I had to fight so many spiders in the house to get, well, just, just to get through the house. I'm not sure if there's a spider infestation. I'm really not sure what happened, but one came at me and then whilst I was dealing with that one, another one came at me and then whilst I was dealing with that one, another one came at me. And before I knew it, I was just crying because I am a baby and I have a, a, a small, not too intense but a sufficient spider phobia and they can't stay in the house once i know they're there because otherwise i'll like basically i don't know how often i'll sit in my living room <laughs> once we move back in <laughs> it will take me a while to feel comfortable in there again but anyway we've got the suitcase <laughs> i've just changed 
into my Ardenola sweats if you're wondering why I'm about to go on a little stomp because I feel like I need to stomp out some adrenaline. I'm not even talking small spiders. Like I actually, this is why I don't think I have a spider phobia because I can deal with small spiders. They're like the size of my hand and they're fast. And yeah, I don't want to talk about it anymore. But we have the suitcase. Let's pack some things. I am ready for this. Bag of Okay, so we're not doing too much in the way of skincare, makeup, anything like that yet because I am obviously still using it. But just mapping this out, obviously my sunglasses will go in cases. We've got most of the shoes that I'm taking. I'm taking obviously my YSL flats, but I wear them literally every day. We have got bikinis. I've got five sets of bikinis. Then I've got two like bikini cover-ups that are kind of like fun beach party, pool party kind of vibes. And we've got one cover up that's kind of in the middle we've got a couple of pairs of trousers that can be worn either with tops in the evening or with the bikinis during the day here we have got a bikini set and then a reformation set um this is the reformation set that i wore in the south of france if you remember except i have it in the size that is actually correct for me now which i am so happy about i really needed a size down and i finally got around to ordering it and um, that's my limit roller we then have three dressier evening outfits so far for the two pairs of trousers i have two tops so we can have like a nice little chill evening outfit if i want to i may also add another dress into the mix here as well but yeah so far that is it these i'm going to put in my hand luggage which is going to be this bag here just in case just in case i hate the thought of being like with nothing so this outfit could work for a day and for an evening and then we obviously have the bikinis and these are small enough to go in the hand luggage without impacting me massively so they are going to go in there and then we're just waiting on all of the essentials like underwear skincare all of that kind of stuff oh and two bags which i forgot to pick up at the house so now i'm hoping i can facetime ryan and get him to bring them because i don't want to go back there now that that is done i can focus on getting pretty so i'll be back with you tomorrow I think tomorrow for more Ibiza prep and it's gonna be beauty prep. Good morning, we are tanning this morning. I have an event tomorrow where I'm gonna, I'm gonna be wearing a dress and strapless and there's just gonna be a lot of like shoulder and arm on show. So I wanted to just look a little bit bronzy for the occasion. So we're going to be going in with the good old Saint Fe. This is the self tan purity bronzing water gel. I have a feeling I'm gonna use this up whilst I am staying at Ryan's. I'm probably gonna to need to go out and get another bottle. I'm literally just gonna leave this on all day whilst I'm like in my loungewear. And by this evening, I will be so nice and bronzy. And it's just literally the best like lazy girl way to tan. I, I just love this. It goes on completely clear. It doesn't like ever stain anything you never get streaks with this this is like one of the best tans you can use on your hands as well the luxe whipped cream mousse is actually my like top tier elite favorite for my hands because i put it on my hands leave it on for an hour and it never it never looks bad if i wash it off after an hour i literally just get one of my face halos wipe it off my hands i do the same with this as well but the Luxe Whipped Cream Mousse is like the most natural I've ever seen for using on your hands. This is a little bit more potent, but that's great for me right now because I need my body to have a bit more of a glow and I need it fast and efficiently. So, and so I'm doing this today for my event tomorrow and then I'm gonna top up my tan and like just exfoliate daily, top up my tan on Sunday before I leave so that Monday, when I arrive in Ibiza, I'm gonna be so nice and glowy. Obviously, I would not normally do this, by the way, with my <laughs> skims bar on, but you guys do not, you guys don't need to see this, so yeah, I'm sure you can understand. So that is step one, and then I also need to do my toenails. I think my shoe option for tomorrow is open toe, so they desperately need doing. Normally, I would leave them, until like the day before I go on holiday so that I know they're gonna stay looking perfect because I don't do gel on my toes. But I just need them to look nice tomorrow as well. Maybe I'll redo them on Sunday, but I'll use the same color. It will all look the same. This is the moment when I realized that I may have not brought my regular toenail polish. 
Hmm. Maybe we will be having gels. Tan is on. I thought I'd just quickly show you what I am wearing today. I am in sloth mode until this evening when I have a family dinner to go to, but I thought I'd show you anyway. So this is a brown wool set that I have from Nesporte. It's by De Deji studios deja studios i can't remember how you say it i love this so and i've been really missing wearing it whilst the weather's been so warm i actually bought this a couple of months ago when the weather was freezing in the summer and then it suddenly got really hot honestly buying autumnal clothing in the summer is like doing the warm version of a rain dance I swear. But yeah, happy to be back in this. I will probably not be saying that by the end of winter, but happy for now. I'm wearing my Monica Vinida little gold, I don't know what shape I wanna call these. I normally call them like a leaf or a feather. These little round earrings, I think they're so lovely, like statement, but really simple and like classic at the same time. And that's all I've got in today, because obviously I have put on my tan, so I didn't wanna get any of my tan on any of my items of clothing. So that is literally it apart from my little tortoiseshell ASOS clip so very very simple just keeping it really casual until this evening when i will be showing you an outfit that finally has some autumnal vibes so luckily in my box of goodies here i actually got sent a couple of peachy polishes these are new launches to peachy in the gel bottle so this is the polished version of the new glaze polish that they've just launched and i'm gonna give this a go on my toes and we'll see how we go and if i don't get on with it this week then i'll redo them this weekend and run home and get a proper like nude nail polish but i'm gonna see how this goes because my toes are in like nice condition like the natural nail color of them it looks really nice it's very even there's only a couple of marks from where my toes have been damaged from heels but i think this will cover it nicely so i'm gonna see how i get on with something that's a little bit more sheer <laughs> quick little outfit of the evening before we lose the light i forget this time of year how much sooner the sun starts going down but i am wearing a skims tank top these are my favorite tank tops in the whole entire world they're just very flattering very comfy i love them so much and then i am wearing a satin midi skirt from zara i've had this for years now i absolutely love it my new boots which I am obsessed with. And then I am wearing the Monica Vinida heart necklace, the big swirly drop earrings. I've got the matching ring on and then my usual bracelet stack as well. And then for a jumper, oh, I can't even tell you how badly you're balanced on this fan. This is actually, I feel like this is defying gravity. I'm gonna take a photo and we will insert it. <laughs> Wow, for my jumper, I am going to take this grey one. So it's still quite warm this evening and I'm not sure if we'll be sat outside or not. So I just want to take a little jumper, but in the boots, I am being kept very, very snuggly right now. So just throwing this over my shoulders for now. This is my Zara cashmere knit. I was going to take my black one, but I don't know what kind of dinner situation we'll be having. We're going to Ryan's mum. She has like an outdoor grill thing. So I don't know if I'll get food smells on my jumper and I know I want to wear my cos one for a work event later this week. So I'm going to stick with the grey one so I can throw it in the wash. And what else am I? I think that's it for my outfit for the evening. No, it's not. I'm going to take this back. So this is my outfit of the evening and hopefully this is helpful to the lovely follower that asked if i could give them some outfit inspo for mixing grays and tans i would definitely always opt for the one to be the accessory and then the other to be the clothing like right now we've got a bit of tan on the bag we've got the boots and then we've got the jumper which has a lovely gray to it two very tricky little tones to mix i think but this is personally how i would do it good morning everybody i <laughs> I've had one of those like moments where you just can't get dressed and everything ends up on the floor so please ignore the mess behind me. I actually just made a TikTok fully exposing myself because I just can't pretend to be one of those aesthetic getting readyers anymore and I can't be bothered to tidy up after myself today so yeah this is today's outfit of the day. I'm going to do some filming for an Armani beauty project that I'm working on so I want it to look like super chic suited on the top half but on the bottom half we're going very autumnal the perfect 
daytime summer to autumn outfit and then I have an outfit for this evening as well which I will show you but my jewelry today is going to stay the same so I thought I would show you what I've got going on up here so we've got the dainty dangly earring which will really I feel like it comes into its own more with this evening's outfit it's just super elegant and I love that and then I've actually just got one of the chunky gold swirly earrings on the other side so kind of like balancing everything out but tying it in with the rest of my jewelry so i've got the heart locket again which i just love i actually i was meant to wear a different outfit and this was meant to go on with the other outfit but now <laughs> i'm just leaving it on and then i've got the same ring and bracelet stack as last night as well one of the things that i also love about monica vinader are their sustainability efforts like i am always so impressed by them so for example all of their silver is 100 percent recycled and their gemstones and diamonds are all ethically sourced their packaging is also like fully recyclable which we love and is made from recycled materials and they also have a repair and rewear program as well which i just think is so good i don't know of many brands that offer that but i absolutely love that and i actually did not know that until recently and i would 100 percent take them up on that service i just love my monica vinader pieces so much and i want to be able to wear them for longer and then have to buy less from them i just love that so much oh i am so warm i don't i don't understand summer to autumn temperatures it's just i'm so confused but anyway let's go to london i'm actually really excited for my day today i don't know how much i'm going to get to vlog the whole day because i've got some projects some branded projects on that i need to give my full attention to and i find it so hard to do two things at once in my brain so we'll see what we get up to but i'm also seeing amelia and i'm just like why can't we just squish her i feel like i haven't seen her in so long so yeah so excited to go and hang with her we're actually crossing paths like a couple of times today which i'm just over the moon about so let's go i did in fact not vlog anything on wednesday hello it's friday it's friday i didn't vlog anything on wednesday it was literally the most chaotic day of my life you don't need to hear about it but it was not it was not a great day things went wrong at every single point point. and yesterday i started vlogging and it's just i had the worst migraine so the vlogging yesterday it went poorly i was in brighton i was on the way to my first i had two events yesterday and i had the worst migraine but i looked cute i also wore the blue monica vinegar jewelry and it looked gorgeous i'm wearing the drop earrings today and the heart necklace and my bracelets and they look so cute but yeah i i have failed at the vlogging the past couple of days it's really it's it's not been great but i've not i've really not felt great at all it's been an interesting 48 hours but we are back for some more ibiza prep today we are doing the nails the autumn nails are going we're bringing in something a little bit more holiday vibey a little bit more summery to like say goodbye to the end of summer and i'm so excited nails is top of the list and then i also i need to do a hair mask a hair wash like the hair is dry so we need to like take care of it in advance of ibiza and i'll probably take hair masks with me as well because my hair over the summer every summer just gets so fried i also need to go to boots because we need we need brow things we need we need the brow gel we need the brow pencil and i need spf and i need face spf so i've got a long list Ooh, that's bright i've got a long list for boots this morning but first up i'm gonna go have ella do my nails i just really couldn't be bothered to do them myself this week so and i wanted what i wanted was um well you'll see but what i want is really quite a bit trickier for me to do on myself so it's just easier to have her do them and i'm lazy so off we go here we go i'm actually early for once she'll be shocked <laughs> Okay, nails are done. We have gone for Dolly Biab with, there's a white color blended over the top and then we have got a chrome powder over the top as well. So super subtle, but really like sheeny, really nice when the light catches it. Next up, boots and m and I forgot this morning, m and we also need to go there. Was panicking for a second, couldn't find 
the Anastasia section. Where are the brows? Where are the brows? Where are the brows? Oh. Brows? Okay, great. What have we got here? Soft brown. I could do a soft brown. Where are the ash? Oh, ash brown, yes. Ash brown and soft brown. I'm gonna go ash brown. Can go back in there. And then dip brow gel. What have we got? Ash brown, yes. Stunning, wonderful. The worst has happened. The worst, the actual worst. Mm. Last few non-essentials going in. Everything that isn't like a beauty product I think is now around the suitcase. <laughs> This is what I picked up from Boots. I've got a tinted SPF 50. I don't know if my skin is going to get on with this one, but we'll see. Very annoying that my La Roche-Posay one that I love so much has literally just run out with two days to go until holiday, but better now than on holiday, I guess. Just annoying that I have to try something new when I know the other one works so well for me. We then also have Anastasia Brow Definer in Ash Brown. We have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel in the shade Ash Brown. I'm a bit wobbly because I'm balancing on my heels. Anyway, I also then pick up some extra razor heads. I actually don't need to put the whole box in here. We can just take one out. But these are the Astrid razor heads. But yeah, my razor isn't as sharp as I like it to be. So we needed some new ones and I'm gonna take that one away with me. So I think we are basically there with packing. I'm just gonna do a little bit of hair care now. How do you do this one-handed? Hmm. Just dump my spit in the sink. So I'm gonna be using something new today. I have the L'Oreal LV Bomb Repair Pre Rescue Pre Shampoo. Um, I have the whole range. I got the shampoo and the conditioner, and I think there's a serum as well. I'm just gonna be using the pre shampoo now on my hair. This time of year annihilates my hair. I don't know what it is about like a late September heat wave, but my hair just gets so it just feels it looks fine at the moment it's post blow dry obviously earlier this week so it looks okay but it just feels drier than usual so i was talking to one of my friends i love talking to my non-influencer friends about what they're liking because they usually come out with some gems that aren't like extortionate and one of my friends talked about the l'oreal Elviv bond repair shampoo and she's been using the conditioner as well so i decided to test out the full range so i'm going to use the bond shampoo <laughs> to dump in my hair, be right back. So it says apply to like wet or damp hair, leave for five minutes. So I'm gonna see how this goes. And if I feel like it does good things for my hair, I am going to take it away with me as well and I'll hair mask whilst we're away. Because when I went to Ibiza last year, it fried my hair. Obviously we went way more, but I just really, I just really wanna look after it. So. I'm gonna see if this range is helpful because I switched to just like a non, I was obviously using the Kerastase like color oriented ranges. And then I stopped using that because I don't really have like colored hair that needs maintaining at the moment. So I stopped using that and then I just switched to like a regular one that was like just kind of for normal-ish to dryish hair. And I just don't feel like it was doing the best for me. So I thought I'd see if there was anything else that my hair gets on with. So I'm gonna use these two after when I wash my hair and I will keep you updated long term on how I get on with them. I don't know if I'll be able to let you know like straight away. I always feel like it takes me a, a few weeks of washing my hair with something to really know if my hair likes it or not. And always, always after a trip to the hairdressers. So I will let you know after I see my hairdresser next if she says anything because she always says something like she knows if I've switched my shampoo so I'm gonna wait and see what she says. So apart from my final packing pieces I have a dog, dog hair on my lip again and changing and changing some pounds into euros I think I am almost basically ready for Ibiza. I am so excited i'm so looking forward to my holiday i honestly can't wait so thank you so much for getting ready with me this week i hope you enjoyed seeing what i wore a little bit as well sorry if i'm out of breath by the way 
<laughs> I just had to run up the stairs because I left my batteries on charge downstairs and the camera ran out of battery. So that's why I'm out of breath because your girl normally lives in a bungalow. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like start going to do some high intensity cardio gym stuff when I move back into the house because we're actually gonna have stairs and I'm gonna need to go up them and I'm not used to the stairs. I'm gonna have to start doing the stair master at the gym. But I hope you enjoyed also like seeing what I've been wearing this week and like I said if you want to take advantage of my Monica Vinader code please by all means go ahead if not it will just be me that's not really the point so knock yourselves out happy shopping i hope you enjoy it but yeah thank you so much for coming along with me this week i really enjoyed this week's vlog i'm so excited for the next one it feels like it's been so long since i last did an ibiza vlog i honestly can't wait the last one i think was stuck in ibiza and that's my all-time favorite ibiza vlog hopefully nothing like that will happen touch touch wood nothing in here is real wood but mercury is finally out of retrograde so hopefully will be fine and all of the flights will be fine and yeah honestly it has been a week it has been a week of technical glitches like no other i am very happy that as of today that is apparently over so yeah fingers crossed for a great holiday i can't wait i'm obviously gonna bring you guys along with me but yeah i will see you guys next week love you bye